welcome to another episode of the Mess Mixologist. Today we're talking about sustainability, but sustainability in a fun way. We're meeting the owner, the founder of Strudels, Mr. Strudels himself, Maxine Gelman. So let's shoot over to our interview with him and then we're going to make a drink using these epic straws. Right guys, really excited today to introduce to you Mr. Strudels himself, the owner, the founder, Maxine Gelman. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's a, yeah, hope you're having a strudling morning. <laughs> very, very much so. So, obviously, I'm very aware of the strudel band. Absolutely love it. We use your straws are simply in all our bars. But for those viewers that don't know about strudels, tell them about a bit about the brand and yourself. Yes. So, so basically, I set up strudels about two and a half years ago now, in, in uh, December 2018. And basically, we wanted to show how easy and fun sustainability can be. Because, I mean, David Attenborough, Greta, they all do amazing work, but all the imagery, like it's normally sustainability is perceived as quite negative and very big picture. So, like most people like want to do something, but they don't know how. So we kind of like, we believe that we need millions of people to do sustainability imperfectly rather than thousands just doing it perfectly. So basically that's why I created and created Strudel to cut through doom and gloom, to create a brand that's fun, that's happy. Uh, and then basically that inspires everyone to, and shows everyone that everyone can do something and like create a big picture without compromises. So you still can go get drunk and feel good about yourself or can go enjoy <laughs> your meals and feel good about yourself. And so basically we launched uh, with our pasta straws yes you heard correctly <laughs> yeah, yeah it's drinking straws made out of pasta they last over an hour don't go soggy flavorless so full compromise and you have a little snack or appetizer for the fish just throw it overboard like <laughs> you'll get your yeah. happy fish <laughs> technically and they're so good the, the, the pasta straws because whilst you know we all want to be involved in sustainability so i think the paper straws just don't cut it, do they? Like, no. you know, 10 seconds in your drink and you've got this little floppy mess. Yeah. Um, and, and so I just think these are just absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah, they don't go soggy, and you can even drum with them. You can. Uh, we have a bunch of games on the website, so if someone is, so if you have like kids around, like give like some lots of drinking games. Like yeah. you can, they're very versatile. Obviously, you can drink your drink, and so so even multiple drinks. So if you want to be again, if you're in a more like home environment, I guess like yeah, you can do two, three, four drinks. So the colder the drink, the longer they last. So they last across like three, four drinks, and in a home environment. I mean, again, yeah, if you drink an hour, maybe not, but like a normal 15, 20 minutes per drink. And then in the bar, same thing. Obviously, if you're then serving customer, like a, let's say only a gin and tonic, you can ask, like, do you want to reuse the straw? So again, it's, yeah, it doesn't go soggy. And like, you're actually enjoying yourself and you're doing something good. And then they, they're also available in like those beautiful reads. So, I mean, yeah, you have one of the sample packs. So that's like the retail yeah. packs. So it's even like a cutout mustache. Uh, oh, fantastic. Exactly. That's what you need on a night out. A cutout exactly. mustache for your store. Yes, yeah, so suddenly you'll get a lot of lots of people there with a the cutout mustache. So I mean, yeah, so that's like the retail pack. So that's that was our start. So like with that, we kind of like get lots of viral press. We've been so some of you might have seen us on Unilat, that Bible, lots of different media. And then so most recently we then introduced new products. Like very yeah. exciting. Um so let's start with the cups. So like yeah. So this is like edible cups, edible wafer cups. There's like in two in two sizes. Uh, like so they actually are for hot drinks, believe it or not, like 40 minutes. Uh, they last in hot with hot drinks. Basically, they stay crispy uh, afterwards. And uh, basically, it's great for cocktails, for coffee, for desserts. Um, we, so. Why don't we have one to make our cocktail into that? Exactly. There you go. Shall we try it? <laughs> We can, I'll tell you what, if you send me one, I'll cut it perfectly and chop this out of the video so no one will know. They'll all think that it's just arrived. But perfect. Good. The good old, good old Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> or video, whatever the video software is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's do that. Yeah. No, because, yes, yeah, I mean, the cocktails taste amazing. So, plus, you have a snack after. So we actually done recently like a nice, like also like a slushy cocktail with like a slushy ice cream for one of our products. I mean, yeah, I mean, so as I say, I mean, like, I mean, they're made for coffee eventually, initially, but everyone seems to be using it for like cocktails, desserts. Uh, so it's definitely like a big, so all our products are generally a big talking point. So you're guaranteed to impress a lot of people. Um, and then, yeah, here you have a nice, like infused cup of wafer is going to hit you at the end. 
<laughs> so it's, it's way for that one's made out of basically yeah yeah so i mean they smell good they actually taste very very nice so yeah just basically a wafer that's obviously like pressed much stronger and stuff like fully vegan everything uh but yeah like fully fully sustainable cocktail and amazing then, and then so the, the next products are edible spoons so they're from biscuit so there's like Ooh. three three sizes so i mean this is like uh that's like the two small ones for ice cream yeah, uh, and then there is like a medium one for dessert and then like a big one for like soup. So this one actually works even like for hot meals, hot liquids for 30 minutes. And then obviously like the small ones are just like for ice cream. So again, like instead of this, what's it called? The flake that you put in. Yeah, you stick your spoon in. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. No, you strudel it. You strudel, you strudel it. it. You strudel spoon in. You just don't, don't put any uh, sauce on it or you have sticky fingers. Wait till the end. Exactly. Uh, and then there's coffee stirs, also from Biscuit. So again, like you can drink your coffee, stir it, stir it up. So again, so and then those two are actually even gluten free. So okay. that's that. And then like the last products in the range are basically eco plates and bowls. So they're also technically edible. So they're made from wheat bran. It's like different sizes. So they even microwave safe. So like, oh, okay. I guess for outdoor events, again, like no way, like you can just chuck them in with the food waste or I don't know, give it to the, uh, to the dog, uh, like to, to munch on, or you can munch some as well. But it's obviously a mouthful and like, yeah, um, yeah I mean, so that's kind of like the current range. Like it's, uh, obviously like great for outdoor, outdoor, indoor, obviously like also like, I'm, but we have like lots of like bigger indoor places looking at this for like desserts. Because again, yeah. like it's for an experience uh, and stuff. And yeah, there's more products coming. So we're looking at a lot of different products. But yeah, so that's the Strudels, Strudels world. It was a that's the full Strudels world at the moment. So obviously, like, this started in December 18. Yeah. Um, yeah. We mentioned before, so you originally born in Russia, moved to Germany. Yeah. Um, Germany was probably one of Europeans' leaders in, in kind of sustainability and recycling. Have you always been conscious of like, the impact that we're having on the environment? Um, yeah, yes and no. So I was conscious of plastic pollution just because like, I guess from the traveling and like, cause I mean, we dive as well. So like, I guess from that perspective, um, and then, so always like, I guess that's what triggered it. It's like the shock of like seeing all the stuff underwater, especially yeah. over a period of time. Cause I mean, when we started, it was, I mean, not relatively clean. I guess we cho chose some nice places, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I mean, the, the the more time continued, the worse it got. And I guess then, yeah. And then basically it was just like triggered, triggered from there. I, I, I then just saw um, some places using it for, like, it was basically like some Italians were using it for fun. Um, and yeah. then basically like from, from that perspective, it kind of all started making click in my head. And like, uh, yeah, then Strudels was wrong. I guess again, it was just in the right time at the, the right place. Um, yeah. And yeah, so. So you've traveled quite widely in the past, yeah. I, I assume, with your diving and, and, and life in general. What did, what, what did you do before Strudels? So I have a strategy consulting background. So I did okay. like, so I, I did work with anything from like diapers for the elderly to like car, car parts to uh, agriculture. So like a very wide background. And then most recently in, in, the, in London, I've been de uh, working with like different startups, like in the tech space, retail, fashion. So a very wide background. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's fun. <laughs> awesome. So obviously we're going to go on to make a, a drink with these strudels so we can kind of showcase how good they are. Um, let's talk about you. Where's the best place you've ever had a drink? The one that sticks out in your memory? Um, well, I guess it was because of the atmosphere, like, I guess, like in Bali, like it's just, just because I guess it was all the, the right atmosphere. I guess like it, it didn't matter like at the end of the day, even what, what the drink is. Cause I mean, like my fa my favorite drink in general, I guess, unfortunately without, without the strudel, it's like partly like a uh, old fashioned and then with strudel it's a mojito. So like yeah. there, obviously I had my, my mojito. Um, and like, yeah, it just, uh, it was just like beautiful setting and everything. <laughs> Amazing. So obviously the, the range is growing now as well. So you've got the cups, you've got the, the, the drinks market coming, the, the plates, the spoons. What's next in the Strudels pipeline? Yeah, so we're currently, so basically like how we've this designed the brand is like that we constantly can incubate new eco innovations globally. So we're at the moment, we're looking at like more kind of like edible plates and bowls and like, and other like table tableware products, obviously like cutlery 
I guess that that's the big demand. Everyone's kind of like asking for cutlery. Um, yeah. And then like, so yeah, just constantly like um, extending that whole disposable tableware market. So basically that we have something for every event. And then also yeah. going forward, I guess, also looking at more pre- paper products and stuff. Because again, with like, this is obviously, again, we're not trying to give something like a perfect solution because that, that's not existent. Like the perfect is obviously, I mean, like not using anything, but that's not realistic. So we're just trying to, get as as perfect as possible as close to it as possible so again it will just be have to be like 100 biodegradable compostable and fun to use because i mean that's the main objective is like to inspire those yeah make people want to use them isn't it right. rather than like the choice that you kind of have to go like a paper store is something that you kind of have to use but you kind of resent using because you can't yeah. suck a milkshake through it within exactly. 10 seconds it's soaking wet um, which is why I think, yeah, like the usability and the fun factor is, is phenomenal. Exactly. And you partnered with a charity as well, haven't you? Yes, yeah. So clean ocean sailing. Uh, so basically, we've created a make a splash campaign. Actually, you can do that after you do after we do the mojito. So basically, so make, make a splash. So we, I'll just quickly run you through the charity. So basically, like what? So what? So they have an old sailboat um, off the coast of Cornwall, and they basically clean remote areas. So normally, you know, beach clean, you walk by foot and clean yeah. the very accessible stuff. So what they do, which is amazing, is basically inaccessible clean inaccessible areas. So like they parked uh, park. They anchor the boat uh, like uh, in the middle of the of, of the area and then like take like recycled canoes and things like that to remote areas like the Isle of Scilly and places like that. So and they have like an old 120 year old refurbished sailboat and like that's what they use. So again, if anyone's in the area for vol- volunteering, just uh, hit them up. Um, and then so we partnered with them to create a make a splash campaign. So obviously make a splash is make to make like in transferable form, make a difference. But also obviously in our case, and that's what I mean. Like, so we had lots of like other like uh, lots of like amazing mixologists like drop a straw in the drink to make a splash. Just so we can do that at the end of the, as well to like yeah, show yeah. that we care. Then we created a sail design competition. So basically, we're currently raising funds to redesign their spinnaker sails so they they don't have to use an engine in that yeah. sense. And so there's a sail design competition open to kids and adults. So half the sail is pre-designed, and then the other half can be designed obviously then for design to be on there for 10 to 15 years and then the right. runoffs will go on the little flags um as well so so that's what so we and then obviously we're trying to raise money and help them obviously like to to with the daily stuff and then so and then also as part of the make a splash we we've done something with like little boy scouts so we created a little badge uh, that they get like for doing litter picking and stuff like that. So so we do quite a lot kind of like on the educational fun stuff and basically like trying to to make a splash and uh, like cr- show and inspire how fun yeah. it all can be. Awesome. It's amazing. Um, so so you, 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 caught, you partnered with the, these guys obviously into sailing. I know uh, obviously you're big in the UK market. You mentioned to me obviously off camera that you, you've done a bit in the yachting market already. Yeah. You, you kind of in with a couple of provisions. You're looking to expand your network yes. of provisioners at the moment. Yeah, 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 exactly. So we've done something in France. Um, obviously like pre-COVID uh, and then so yeah so we're definitely yeah, keen to because I mean again it's, it's great I mean I guess the, the case is strong because you're out on the boat around the water so again obviously there's no pollution at zero waste and it's definitely a talking point so anyone uh, coming coming with you and like it's definitely like it's good for them I mean kids love it adults love it so I mean it's definitely like a cool like Mr. Strudels will be happy that's that's well he looks like me I know a, 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 little, <laughs> a, little, bit, a little bit so yeah I, I can never change my glasses i guess so no you're yeah. they're, they're, they're your signature now yes yeah yeah but yeah so i guess like the whole range kind of like for for provisioning like i think that works really well because it is i guess like yeah it's it's well technically you can go full, full zero waste no no uh washing up or cleaning after that oh, that's awesome the stewardesses are like that just just yeah pop it in for the fish they can eat it free dinner for yes, the fish yeah. afterwards Yes, yes, yes. So no, no, but I guess again, like, so it's fun. So we just try like, so, and that, so that's what we're trying to do. Like subconsciously people will start talking about sustainability, you know, like you wouldn't talk about sustainability to your friends, but if you have a pasta straw or like you have our edible cup, you are suddenly going to start talking. Yeah. Um, so, so, and that's what hopefully it will trigger something like whether it's now, whether it's in five months, whether it's in five years, doesn't matter. But like, that's, so it's about the 99.9% of people, like the, the mass that we're trying to leave a yeah. difference and impact. Well, I absolutely, I absolutely love them. Uh, and we will continue to, to promote the Strudels brand as and when we can. 
Um, so we're going to um, we're going to also you said your favourite cocktails mojito in, in a, as a long drink. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, we yes. can showcase these. So we'll get a cup here ideally tomorrow by UPS if we can. Oh. Uh, I might, <laughs> I might put. I might make one and put it in the can just in case there's any delivery issues. Um, <laughs> and then we'll do, we'll, we'll film and make a splash with your mojito. Yes. Um, showcase these straws. We'll get your details up for everyone so they can contact you as well. Um, Cause we want to publicize the brand, but it's been amazing to learn more about the Strudel's brand. It's been epic to meet you as well, Max, um, Mr. Strudel himself. Uh, thank um, you. Thanks for coming on to the show. No, thank you. Thanks, thanks to you. And yeah, let's get everyone strudling <laughs> with all the different products. Thanks for having Let's strudel. Thank you. See you yeah. soon. Thanks. See you. <laughs> thanks for having me. Well, I hope you enjoyed that interview as much as I did. Thanks ever so much, Maxim, for enlightening us to uh, the thought process behind strudels. Epic. Right. Let's get some on the go. Let's see how they perform. Unfortunately, DHL did not arrive in time for us to get this uploaded up to the cloud. One of the ones up there. Um, to get it out to you. So we're going to have to use our glass glass. But what we do is we use one of his uh, compostable ones in the next show for whatever drink we're making. So for you guys, a mojito, a beautiful classic, absolutely lovely in the sun. We're going to start with some nice fresh mint leaves, about 10 of these into the bottom of our glass. I say fresh, these are probably a little worse for where they've come from our herb garden and it's been a little bit dry recently, but they still smell great. So that's the mint, we'll shut them down there. To that, we're gonna add 60 mils of white rum. We're using Bacardi. Any nice white rum will do. Now, this is a controversial one. You'd normally add granulated sugar. I personally don't like granulated sugar in cold drinks. All you end up with is horrible granules to, to get down the back of your throat. I prefer to use a sugar syrup. It blends better, makes the drink taste better in my opinion, um, but I know that that is equally a very controversial opinion. So I'm gonna put in 25 mils of sugar syrup there. And to that, we're gonna add a little dash of lime juice. Again, we normally use fresh limes, but we're actually out of limes at the moment. So we're gonna add a bit of lime juice to that. And then we're gonna give it a good old muddle which is essentially just a squish, but it makes it sound a little bit more technical. Give that a great little squish. Fill up the glass with ice. Oh, already done it for me. Then we're going to top with soda. We're actually using spring water here. Gently add that in so we don't get rid of all the bubbles. Now we don't need a stir because we've got our beautiful strudel. Here we go. In with a strudel, let's give it a nice mix around. Perfect, we're gonna garnish that with a beautiful wheel of dried lime. Oh, and I forgot Maxim's make a splash. I don't know if it's gonna work because of the ice. Well, it was all right. Anyway guys, that's our mojito with our strudel. It works perfectly. It tastes great. What better way to start a Friday morning? Cheers, guys, and we'll see you on the next episode of Mess Mixologist.